In this day and age of smartphones and self-driving cars, people often find themselves being in quite a negative frame of mind, and this can be quite detrimental to one's mental health. Regardless of how you are brought up, many factors play a key role in determining how you feel and view life. However, many of these factors can be changed to give you the advantage over being happier than sad. Which is exactly what we'll be talking about when going over the book Good Vibes, Good Life, written by Instagram influencer Vex King. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Maven and I'm a prospective aerospace engineering student hoping to study at the University of Liverpool this year. With results day in just 5 days at the time of this recording, I think it's important that students like me should be able to relax and just de-stress their life on the lead up to results day. Hence why I've created a video which I'll link down in the description below which talks about the different ways you can help de-stress and overcome any anxiety you have leading up to results day. I'll also leave links to Vex King's Instagram page down below and if you're interested in buying a copy of the book yourself, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link which you can use to help support me and buy the book for yourself. All of that will be in the description below. But anyways, let's move on to the first part which is all about a matter of vibes. In the book, King talks about how the universe operates on the basis that everything down to the atom has a vibration. Whether it be matter or energy, it will have a vibration. As such, you yourself have your very own vibration unique to you, and this vibration can increase or decrease depending on your surroundings and state of mind. For example, a higher vibrational state correlates to a more positive frame of mind. You're happy, you're outgoing, and everything just seems perfect. However, a lower vibrational state indicates that you're in a negative state, whereby you're feeling sadder, keeping to yourself, and feeling like the world is just against you. We want to be keeping and maintaining our high vibrational state, and we can do so by following some of the positive lifestyle changes that we can make in our lives that King suggests to us in his book. Typically with escapes such as gaming or recreational drugs, although they're likely to boost our happiness and vibrations for a short period of time, once they're gone, you waste money trying to find another source. This in turn actually decreases our vibration, and instead we'll be talking more about the long-term and practical ways we can increase our vibration. As Jim Rohn once said, you are the average of the 5 people that you're closest with. This means that if you spend more time with people of a negative nature, you're going to become more negative over time. And this is important because what people should be doing is spending more time with others that are generally more positive and vibrate of a higher nature. This then links to what King goes on to talk about, which is all about cutting out all the drama and gossip in your daily life, and rather than showing envy towards others, practice expressing gratitude for the things you already have. In my personal experience with expressing gratitude out loud, I felt a significant increase in my happiness, as well as feeling better about myself in general. You can recreate the technique I use by simply saying 5 things out loud that you should be or are grateful for, and then always starting the sentences with I am grateful for dot dot dot. So if you ever need to boost your mood, try saying 5 things out loud and let the universe do the rest for you. Moving on to the next part, we're going to talk about how you can manifest your goals. With manifesting goals, King doesn't go on to talk about the physical changes you can make towards reaching them, but rather talks about how a mindset change needs to occur in order for you to reach those goals. King talks about how your mentality is your reality, and that actively wishing can help you achieve your goals. He mentions the law of attraction and the practice of affirmations here and how those two things can work for you in order to achieve your goals. With things such as the law of attraction and affirmations, it's important you do it every day and make it a habit so that you can see your goals manifest right before your own eyes. For me, I only just started this YouTube channel and my goal is to simply make a difference in the lives of students and help them succeed. This goal is obviously still yet to be reached. However, I've already seen some nice feedback on my previous video to know that I am on the right path. Finally, King talks about the value of pain and how humans can use it as a tool for learning. Pain is a part of life, and we will all experience it at some point. We usually feel pain in many different scenarios, such as the loss of a loved one or when we graze our knee while riding a bike. It's always been there, however, what many of us can sometimes forget is that it can serve as a lesson. As such, when we graze our knee because we fall off a bike, we learn not to recreate whatever caused us to fall, and thus we get better at riding a bike. King talks about how lessons often repeat themselves and can be easily avoided once we associate some sort of pain with that lesson. We rarely take the time to try and appreciate all the good things that come our way, nor do we ever try to learn from the bad. But with all that's been said, I hope that this has helped give you an idea as to what you can do from now on to help better your mental state and improve your outlook towards life. If it has, I hope you'll take the time to like the video, subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, and hit the notification bell so that you may be notified of any future uploads that I make. That is all from me today, and I hope you guys find a higher state of vibration. Thank you so much for watching.